for the Fermi Paradox is that we may have already received those signals, but we haven't realized it. We haven't perceived the signals, or we haven't been able to understand or decode them. In this case, some strange signals from outer space have been received. Their origins are now being investigated, and they have posed serious questions for scientists. The most famous signal that's been detected uh, came in 1977. It was at Ohio State University's Big Ear radio telescope. Uh, and in the course of listening for signals from another civilization, there was this message that was strong, that was spread out over frequency. It, it looked exactly like the kind of signal we would want to get from ET. During his work on the night shift on July 15, 1977, Jerry R. Eman, professor of the State University of Ohio and SETI project volunteer, observed the weird transcription of the radio signal made by a computer in a section of paper feed to confirm later that it was the most intense anomalous signal detected up to that point by a radio telescope. The signal of unknown origin had a duration of 72 seconds and reached an intensity 30 times higher than conventional signals and had come from the constellation of Sagittarius. In fact, it was so astounding that when the technician was looking at the printout the next morning, he wrote WOW in the margin, and that's become known as the WOW signal. The computer processed the signals received into a series of alphanumeric characters. It wrote the sequence 6EQUJ5, which has kept the international scientific community on edge until today. Eamon and his team studied the signal in detail. In the end, they were able to rule out that it had been part of any interference coming from the Earth. So during the following month, the operators of the radio telescope tried to reposition the signal, but they didn't succeed. Well, many times in the decades since then, astronomers have looked at the same part of the sky to see whether they can find the wow signal again, but we've never been able to replicate it. So the key to progress in SETI is to be able to find a signal that looks as good as the bow signal, but now to be able to find it not just once, but over and over and over again. Today, the origin of that signal is still under investigation. Another signal which provoked important debates was the radio source SHGB02 plus 14A discovered in March 2003 by SETI at home and announced in New Scientist on September 1, 2004. Since SETI at home started, more than five billion signals have been detected that because of their mathematical profile or their lack of repetition in time have been ruled out. Among all of them, the candidate SHGB02 plus 14A was one of the very few that was confirmed again and the only one to maintain a high statistical chance of being intelligent and of extraterrestrial origin. Another relevant signal was the one observed by the Australian astronomer Regber Batal, a SETI collaborator, who found a strange signal close to what years later would be confirmed by NASA as the first habitable planet the Gleisel 581, just 20 light years away. On the NASA website, in the section Astrology Picture of the Day, we found an explanation for the signal. No one knows for sure what caused this signal. There is a slight possibility that it just might originate from an extraterrestrial intelligence. Many unusual signals from space remain unidentified. The study of signals possibly emitted by an extraterrestrial intelligence is a delicate matter that requires a great deal of confirmation. First, if you think you have a signal from an extraterrestrial, make sure, check, check with colleagues, double check your data. And then secondly, if you're really pretty sure you found it, tell the whole world. Despite countless conjectures about a possible contact or some evidence that is being hidden, SETI states that we haven't yet received a confirmed signal and makes it clear that as far as SETI is concerned, 
it wouldn't be a piece of information to hide. A lot of people in this country figured that the federal government would cover it all up because the public couldn't handle the news. Well, we know that isn't true because we had false alarms. And what actually happens is the media are very interested. The newspapers, you know, the radio shows, TV shows, they call you up right away if you get any kind of interesting signal. So according to the SETI protocol, the day they confirm the first signal indicative of extraterrestrial intelligence, they will make the news known worldwide. A fact that, considering technological advances, may occur in a short time. Seth Shostak declared before the House Science Committee of the American Congress that in a couple of decades, we will have found evidence of its existence. The chances of finding it, I think, are good. And if that happens, it'll happen in the next 20 years, depending on the financing. There are sort of guesses as to how many societies might be out there broadcasting. And those guesses run from uh, maybe 10,000 to a million. Well, if the correct number is any where in that range, then we should find something within a few decades. So, you know, this is not like building cathedrals in the Middle Ages. This is something that's going to work within one generation if it's going to work at all. If I had to bet when we will find intelligence beyond Earth, I'd say in the next 20 years.